hi guys welcome back to tutorial race and in this video you are watching how to create a CRUD operation using angular and php mysql as a backend in the previous two videos we have displayed you that how you can create a form as well as in the second video i displayed you that how you can create form validation in the in this third video i am going to work on php mysql so that we can generate REST API and that REST API we will use into our Angular projects. So let's go to first of all what you will have to do is that uh, you have to install gem into your uh, computer. So I have already installed gem in our C drive here in our C drive So this is my gem folder. Actually, it's already running here. Okay. So what you can do? Just open your this control, gem control. And then you have to start these two, Apache as well as MySQL. So once this is started, then Let's go to a PHP my admin localhost and then PHP my admin. We'll create here one database called PHP Angular Shell and PHP CRUD. Sorry click on this database and then create angular 7 php crud so this is our database just create it so php this one this one is our database now we have created our database now we will create table so uh, we will have four, five four fields name will write here students so here will be s i d the same name i'm going to provide here and then it will be auto increment as well as primary key then f name so this will be in here 255 l name then again here 255 and then email that too will be 255 Okay, so our table is now already. So what I, I'm going to do is that manually, initially, I'm going to insert a few records here. For example, first name, Rajesh, and then Kumar, email, Rajesh, at gmail.com. Now here, Rina, Gmail.com. Okay, so I have added here two records manually. We will use this later, but for the time being, it's fine. Now we will write code for generating REST API. So for that, let's go to this gem folder and htdocs and here let's create here angular 7 php crop so 
So this one is our folder inside gem HC docs. Now let's create a file called open the server text and I'm going to write the code. So this is PHP connection code where it says localhost then username loop database password blank because it's localhost that's why I'm not passing it but not providing here any password and then database name is let's go to here and this one is our database so let's go to here then write this database name and finally we will save here angular 7 php crud so connect dot php so now our connection is ready if you want to check this if it's working or not then let's go to here and right here localhost slash then php angular 7 php crud and then connect dot php if it's displaying no error that means it's working perfectly now let's create a file called list.php let's go to sublime text and then list.php We are just connecting this file. We have just created this uh, connection file, and then uh, we can write here. Also. So whether let's change it to students, then our table name is students. Okay. So we are selecting all our records from the student table. We have just created and added to the code here this one. So this is our table name. So let's go back to here, add more codes. So here is SID, SID, sorry, SID, so here we have written here PHP code, this is the original set as well as we have written here for fetching the code and we are passing here the print name, for example SID, F name, L name, email, these are the same fields which we have created here in PHP my admin. This ID, first name, last name, and email. Now we will check if or so this one is and finally we are writing here JSON code. This JSON in code actually converts or this array which it returns in PHP format into so rather than parts we will so we here actually these two ends here we need to change as well so this one is empty array then inside that array we are inserting values one by one and finally, the error is converted into this JSON format. If you 
So before converting, let me show you that how it will look like. Enter and then let's write this one students. Okay. Now let's check here how does it look like. So let's write here list dot php list dot php. So as you can see, this error is displayed. Actually, this one is not used. So if you don't want to display that, then you can simply write here like error reporting. Coaching error e error e error that means it, it will display only the error and not the other things like notice and other things will not display it only will display the error so you can see this is the array format okay no mistake sorry error it will look like this okay so this is the array format but angular won't be able to read this format. So Angular requires the JSON format, that means, so we have to create REST API here from PHP so that it can be fed into Angular and we can fetch the data from Angular. So to convert this array into the JSON format, we have just written this code. There is an inbuilt function inside of PHP which converts the array into JSON and code into JSON format. So if there is something wrong then it will display this code, this uh, error code. Now check it and you can see now it's working perfectly and our the REST API is ready for this part. So if you add more names here for example And then now add it. So you can see here more nets are coming here. So for each part, our REST API is working perfectly. Now we will fetch this REST API and display the data from Angular. So in the next video, I will show you that how we can do that. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. All right.